And, and listen, if you do have a dog you can't care for, if you do have an animal uh, that's unwanted, or whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to question your, your motor. Just, just come and talk to you folks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we set up a new, um, it's not our program, but we have our own website through them now, and it's called Home to Home, mm -hmm. where if people are deciding to surrender their animal, they have to, you know, because there's appointments, you have to have an appointment with surrenders to bring in your animal. Well, they can post them on Home to Home now in hopes and, you know, that they Somebody. could get adopted before coming to the shelter. Whoa. Yeah, and then people can also foster on there. Um, rehome, or even it's for temporary, say, you know, you have a family emergency, you can't take care of your dog for three weeks. Yeah. Well, at least there could be a foster on there that's like, I will take them for three weeks. Right. You know, get your situation handled, and then you can come get your dog. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And so I, I've had a few dogs posted on there so far, um, so hopefully we have some luck with that. It's not a requirement, unfortunately. Um, I wish it was, but right. just given that we're the city, we can't really require can't things like that. Yeah. yeah, but we do highly recommend it and suggest yeah. it to people. And as weather gets warmer, the, the uh, you know, it's that season, the spring right. season, uh, more, you know, births of animals. So please, if you have a pet and you really care for it, do the right thing. Get it spayed or neutered. And, uh, and, and if you can't take care of an animal, Reach out. To us. There's somebody who will help you out. Trust me. There's somebody who will help you out. Just don't leave them in the streets. Uh, that's just the, the cruelest thing you can do. Uh, because they're, they rely on you. They, they, their survival is, is, is you. And when you do that, like I said, I've seen dogs that have passed them once or twice. And they're still sitting there waiting for right. you to pick them up. And that's just a cruel yeah. So. And not only is it cruel, but I didn't know this before starting at Animal Management Welfare, but it's illegal. It should be. Yeah, it it's illegal. It and say I had, you know, grabbed a license plate of whoever dumped those puppies, they could be, depending on if it was their pet or not in the situation. It's, it, you know, it's different per situation. Per situation. We could have given him a ticket. Chuck and I, Chuck told us a story, I think it was on Monday, about the case in L.A., where someone snatched someone's dog. Yeah. And yes. it on the hood, yeah. And, you know, back in the days, we come from a world where, you know, a horse theft was a hangman. Hangman of How hang about thing. that? Oh, dog abuse and dog theft. <laughs> like, I, I just, I, I don't have a, I, I don't have a tolerance for a man who would do that. A war woman. I'm not being sexist here, but anybody who would treat an animal would do right. like that to an animal. Definitely. What's her name again? Parsley. Parsley. Hey, she, Parsley. She loves love. I was sitting there hanging my arm off the chair, and she just came up there and started licking and nosing it. And she she's also, it. like, quirky, too. Like, when she tries to walk, she'll get on all fours and kind of, like, stay on the ground, like, crawl in a way. And she walks sometimes. It's so cute. Come get Parsley. Uh, keep our record strong of helping out the dogs at Emerald Animal Management and Welfare. Parsley is available. Uh, microchipping, if you have a pet, that's another thing. If your pet comes up missing, the best way you can be reunited is by getting a simple chip in it. So check out Emerald Animal Management Welfare. Parsley, I hope you're home soon. Yeah. That's a good girl. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more chat right here on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel. Into. I may not